What's up, Giannis? Uh, you know, kind of all your life and your career, man, you've you've kind of been an underdog a little bit, coming to America, you know, just embracing that role, becoming the MVP. Now you guys are entering this playoffs, you know, as the favorites to win. How are you dealing with that? Are you changing your approach as a leader, you know, trying to get your team, you know, dealing with this new role? Like, how are you approaching this situation now? First of all, we, we the favorites to win. That's what uh, I'm not, I'm not like following media as much. So I don't know if we're the favorites, but, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, uh, my whole career, even this year, they, you know, they haven't been paying a lot of attention to us, but uh, at the end of the day, we're going to do what we do. We're going to try to play good basketball. We're going to try to improve every day. We're going to focus on ourselves. Um, it doesn't really matter, you know, what's out there. If we they have us as favorite to win, if they don't, you know, they don't talk about us. But I think at the end of the day, all that matters is what we do, um, how we practice, how we get better, how we have fun, and how we go out there and compete together. And as long as we're doing that, we're going to be in a good place. Matt Velasquez. Yeah, as I'm sure since last year's series against Toronto, you guys have been hungry to get back to the playoffs. What's it? What's the feeling like knowing that after all this time, the playoffs are finally here and you guys, you know, are, are 16 wins away from where you want to be? I don't think anybody in this team right now is thinking uh, – about uh, if we're 16 minutes away from uh, winning a championship, we just try to focus in ourselves. As I said, you know, how we can get better. How can we play good basketball? We feel like in the, the eight uh, sitting games that we played, uh, we was in ourselves, we wasn't defending us hard. We was at, at moments, we were playing good basketball, we were playing together, we were defending, but we got to do it in a longer period of uh, a longer stretch. So uh, to win in order to win a championship. So focusing ourselves, Get better every day, and uh, you know once the uh, the tip tip off goes on, we're gonna be we're gonna be ready. We're gonna be ready to compete, and we're gonna be ready to win the game. Taylor Rooks. Hey, Anna, so I know you said you're not paying attention to the media, but he's right. You guys are the favorites. A lot of talk about how easy this path might be for you guys. So how do you not pay attention to the media, and how do you block that out? Uh, easy the path to win a championship. That's what they say. Yeah, well, and that you guys are the favorites. They have you, all the things. Uh, I've never won a championship, so it's definitely not easy to win a championship. Uh, and uh, if I've asked my peers in the past that you got to sacrifice a lot of things, you got to play hard, uh, you got to go out there and compete, um, and you got to leave everything on the court to win a championship. Uh, that's what they told me, and that's what I think it is. Uh, for me personally, not paying attention to the media, I just don't go on my phone as much. Um, don't turn on the TV. I just try to like focus in how can I uh, improve myself and better myself, you know, and, uh, and how can I help the team improve that? Like that's my focus. Because at the end of the day, if I'm a good, in a good place, I know I'm going to be able to play good basketball. I'm going to be able to help my team and be great. And uh, I know my teammates are doing the same, and uh, my team is going to help me be great. And um, if we all do same thing and we all have fun and we're all in the same page um, I think it's going to make uh, this play of uh, runs that we're about to go on Eliza Eric name what's up Giannis? Um I'm curious how frustrating were those seeding games for you because there, there has to be at least some thought that hey these games don't really matter you guys are the one seed but I know you don't like to lose, and you guys lost five times in eight games. So how frustrating were those games for you? Wow. Uh, it wasn't frustrating because we were losing. Like, losing is part of, you know, basketball, losing part of the game. But uh, obviously it was frustrating because at the time, I think we was in ourselves, was in uh, moving the ball as much as I want, wanted to move the ball or as much as Coach Bad wants us to move the ball. Um, we wasn't defending as hard. Um, as I said, there was times that we were ourselves, we were the number one team uh, in the league on defense, but uh, there was time that we showed that, there was time that we didn't. Uh, I think the most frustrating part for me was probably, uh, you know, the Memphis game, sitting in the hotel, not, not being able to be out there, help my teammate uh, compete and uh, win a game and losing a lot of money. Um, but yeah, this is over. This is in the past. Now we, you know, it's playoff time. 
um, I definitely don't believe in like, you know, turn on and turn on switch that everybody talk about that we can turn off the turn on the switch and be great. But I do believe that if everybody's the same page and everybody, um, you know, um, focus and uh, get together and watch clip and be on the same page and uh, we know what our game plan is, I believe we can play way, way better. Rachel Nichols. Guys, now that you've been through the playoffs, what do you know now getting ready for this first few games in this first week that you didn't know the first time you went through it? It's not, not uh, it's, I don't think there's any difference from the last year and the, pre the previous times I went to the playoffs. Um, obviously, what I do once the playoffs start, I just go hard. You know, it's it's real games, it's meaningful games. So I just, from the first game and to the last game, we go all the way. We don't go the way, like I'll, I'll go hard and I'm just going to leave everything um, on the court. So that's what I've been doing my whole career and that's what I'm going to keep doing. Like I'm, I don't try to focus in uh, any other thing. Just just go hard, try to follow the game plan as much, be in the moment and uh, try to seize the moment as much as possible when I'm out there. Anything little about process though that, I mean, some guys say that the national anthems take longer than they expected the commercial breaks are longer or the way they have to rest their bodies because there's no more playing back to back. So is there anything from when you first did it to now that you're more of a veteran? I, I, I don't focus in the, you know, in the breaks and the timeouts and the commercial. I don't focus. I just focus in basketball. Malika, go ahead. Adjustments. I know you're a guy of routines, but you're also one of extreme focus. And so in this environment, perhaps it's easier. But are there any adjustments you've had to make to your approach now that you're going to be playing in the playoffs in this kind of different environment? I had to think about it. Um, no. Do the same thing. And usually, like, as you said, I'm like, I like following my routine, but obviously my routine has changed. So I'm being the bubble. Uh, but. No, just try to rest my body, try to um, work out as much as possible, try to be mentally uh, locked in, and uh, try to be in the moment. I try to not think about the games that we're about to play. I just try to be in the moment, like, uh, as much as possible. And uh, when the game comes, I'm, I'm there. Uh, but, yeah, like, I, I approach the game the same way. It's still a, it's still a game, so I still have to go out there and play as hard as I can and help my team win. About this environment to be, I mean, to make any changes or to create something different. Obviously, obviously, I feel like this uh, environment, you know, playing uh, without fans, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, obviously, when you play in the Pfizer Forum, the heart beat, uh, and you get momentum swings, and you feel good about yourself. You know, uh, the guys that come off the bench, they, they feel better. The yeah, the bench mom. I mean, everybody feels better about, you know, themselves and. Um, we have no fans. We gotta bring the energy. You gotta be mentally tough and mentally ready to motivate yourself and uh, be able to bring that juice by yourself. Um, I think that's the only difference. Uh, but at the end of the day, everybody we all playing, you know, in equal equal ground. And um, obviously, I feel like teams that uh, they're not as uh, not as good, uh, it benefits them a little bit more. Uh, but at the end of the day, hey, it's basketball. We gotta go out there. We gotta compete. We gotta play hard. We gotta take pride in what we're doing, and um, hopefully, we can, you know, leave this place with a smile on our face. All right, thank you, Yannick. I'm gonna leave this place with a smile on my face, no matter what. So, well, you know what I mean. A certain smile.